Everybody, my name is Jason Hartman for your Tennessee's Wildcast, and today we're going to walk you step by step through how to process your own deer. Now, a lot of people don't like to take their deer to processors because maybe they can't afford the fees. Processors do a great job, but you can do it yourself. Today we're here with Jim Stroud. He helps out a lot with the hunter education program, the BOW events, Wounded Warriors. Jim, thanks for being with us today. Glad to be here, Jason. So, Jim, we've harvested our deer. We want to get it home clean, keep the meat clean, and we want to get it field dressed properly. So what's the first steps when we're in the woods to get it field dressed? The first steps I start with uh, when I'm gonna field dress a deer in the field and make sure I do a real clean job of it, Jason. I'll start around the rear end section here and I will cut around it and clean that. There's like a, a cylinder down through there, a bone, which all that's in and you cut it kind of loose and get all that loose. Okay. Then we're gonna turn the deer over. Let's raise him up just here so we can show everybody. Okay. We're going to fill where the rib cage is. Okay. All right, we're going to start us a little tiny hole there without busting into anything or busting anything open. We're going to make a room to start with our gut hook. On this gut hook on this knife, makes it a real simple job. We'll stick it up in that skin and underneath and pull that up through there and it cuts all into the, oh, exposes the cavity in there the, okay. where, the, where your gut and stomach and all that is and liver and where, well, Everything that you don't want to disturb and bust open because all that feeding and stuff right. they've been eating will stink and make a mess. Once we do that, we're going to reach up in here and cut loose up on the trachea and, and pull that down a little bit and cut the heart and lung and pull it back and then it will get to the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a skin in between this section and that section. Okay. All right. We cut that loose and then we pull all this out and all that stuff we cut loose before is going to slide out real nice and clean and we're not going to bust that, that stomach bag open and make a mess and, and our meat and stuff. Okay. And uh, we'll have a real clean meat and, and then we can wash it out and it'll be perfect. We've uh, harvested our deer, field dressed it, got it home. How long can you hang it before we before you actually start cutting the meat out? Well, it depends a lot on your temperature. If you got a nice meat locker or something, you can hold the temperature at about 39, 40 degrees. You can leave it in there a couple of weeks, which is aging the meat and makes it a lot tender. If you uh, have a cold day, can you leave it hanging outside? If it's cold, like, you know, the fall, like 40, 50 degrees, I don't, uh, I wouldn't go too much over 45 degrees. What you don't want is bugs flying around, right. you know, insects showing up. As long as you not have insects, you can leave it out there. That's a good key. Okay. If you're not seeing bugs running around stuff, you're good, okay? Because okay. that's what's going to run your meat, mm -hmm. insects. Um, some people like sprinkling pepper on it to keep insects off. Right. Uh, but, you know, uh, just get it done and try not to run your meat. That's the main thing. Okay. Uh, this hide will actually hold everything in together. If you leave the hide on it when you're leaving it hanging outside or in, you know, where you, when, you, when you can't get to it quick, uh -huh. the hide protects it. Take that off before you process it. Right. Okay. okay. This is a, a device used to, to help hold the legs open where we can cut and work on everything and, and trim it up and get all the skin and everything. Works, works real easy. If you don't have that, you can figure out a way to hang it up with a couple a of ropes, stick or... you know, sticks, whatever. But these things ain't very expensive. You can find one and use it all the time. It's a nice little tool to have. And why wouldn't you want to hang it from the head? Okay, good question. Uh, some people do. Some people hang them in the cooler by the head. Some hang them, don't really make a lot of difference. Okay. I like hanging them like this because they're easy to work with, but some people hang them because they drain out a little better. But, <clears throat> excuse me, if you got the head cut off, you could do that and get the trachea where the water will come out after you wash that, let that water run out. That's the main thing, just get it to drain out, keep it drained out. Okay. What kind of meat are we going to be able to get out of this animal? Well, we're hoping to get a lot of good steaks, uh, roast. We're going to have some good back strips, which is the center of the rib eye on a regular cow or something like that. But we're going to bone all that out of the bone, and we'll have a big old long strip of good tender back strip meat. Right in here, we have a couple of tenderloins. Mm -hmm. We can get them out for cutting up, you know, use either steaks or mix them in some stew or something. They're really tender. Okay. Uh, we could cut up a little bit of the rib cage and cut them in where you could grill them or cook them however you want to do it. With, a lot of people don't cook the ribs, but we're going to try them. And, you know, I can cook them. I like them. You know, yeah. some people like them, some don't. Uh, we're going to get some trimmings off the front shoulders for grinding up, making for chili meat and stuff like that. But pretty much, uh, 
about what we're going to we have. We want to utilize the whole deer. Exactly. We're going to utilize as much of this meat as we can right. without wasting it. That's the whole idea. People don't realize there's, there's, there's not a lot of meat compared to the weight of the deer because the legs, the head, the right. hide is, you know, a lot of the weight, you know, if you got a pit deer that weighs this and probably, I don't know, weighs maybe 70 pounds or 65 pounds, we might get 30 pounds of meat out of it, mm -hmm. okay? That's because of all the bone, the hide, right. and stuff. Right, right. What's our first step? Uh, getting the hide off. Right, we want to get, get it prepped, pull the hide off, skin the hide off. Now, one thing about letting deer hang for several days, it's a little tougher getting the hide off. Now, if you bring that deer right home and skin it, it'll pull off as slick as a pin, and it's a lot easier. Okay. okay? So if you're going to process one as soon as you bring it in, it's a lot easier to skin it. Okay. Okay. It takes a little longer when it's cold and frozen. If the colder and frozen are, the worse it is to do. All right. Okay. What we're going to do is kind of cut in here and get around here where we can get to the bone. You know, some people may think we're wasting this meat right here, but this meat's got so much second skin and sinew in it, and it's so tough, it's really not good. Okay. okay. All right, but we're going to cut this off. I'm going to get them soft. Just a good little meat saw. You can find these things about anywhere. They. Now, normally, I have one of these battery operated saws all with a big cutting blade it makes it really simple but right. well, most people are not going to have one of them so right. we're showing it's you it's good how to, to show do. the tools that most folks might have you might want to invest in a little meat <clears throat> saw you can get them at one of these uh, sporting goods stores they let them sell them and since we're on the topic of saws and knives it's it's really important to have a good sharp knife it's absolutely important to have a sharp knife uh, it'll make your job a hundred times easier. Okay, what I want to do is kind of get this hide cut on down here a little bit further to where I'm going to draw a straight line with this knife across here. I'll have to get it down to the leg before I can use the gut hook on it. Okay. Let's see how that pulls it across there and kind of gives a good clean cut, see? All right, okay. All right, we're going to do the other side the same way. Same thing. Switch sides. With me. There we go. Now, see all this now as it is cut loose, and it'll, when I get to skinning, it'll all just wrap up, and it'll be like one piece. Okay. All right. Now, what we'll do up here is the same thing. Just grab us. Place right here and spread that out. What we don't want to do is when we're going around this leg, is cut this piece that's holding the tendon that's holding this ant deer up there. Now see how clean this is, Jason. We got to hide all the way we off. We hadn't disturbed the tendon which we got it hung up by right, right there. Okay. So now we can pull the skin down and it's loose from the middle here and it'll just slide right off. Sort of like we did the front legs. It's the Back leg the same way. Now the hide's all loose from all that right. side. So we need to start with the other side. All right, we're we... going to do this, this side the same way. All right, Jim, we're going to move to a skin knife and start bringing the hide off. So what's the first step for that? Okay, we're going to this smaller knife because we ain't, when we got our hand up here, we ain't got a blade way over here. We just kind of got it right there in front of us. We can work with it without cutting ourselves. Okay, and then okay. you're just pulling back a little bit and then just kind of. Right, right. That if this, if this deer was real fresh, I could actually probably pull it without having to use the knife but there are right. times we're going to have to use the knife. Now, if you want to really get it slick, you know, we we'll use knife on all of it. Let's turn it on around here a minute. Now, see how we can pull that like that? Yeah. And okay. it just kind of comes off by itself. Okay. Now, let's get this other side loose. We'll do it the same way. We'll kind of want to get this skin loose. All right. Let's spin around this. You'll hold that knife for me, Jason. We can just kind of see how easy that hide will just slide right off of it. Now you notice we got a tail here. Yep. We just take that knife right there, cut it around. There's a little bit of a bone there, and it'll break right loose. That all way, right. if you're going to tan your hide, you want to keep all that on there where it's real pretty when you take it to your taxidermist. Gotcha. Then we're going to just kind of go down through here. And Pull on this a little bit at a time. Start pulling that loose. Okay. 
Now, y'all notice this part right here. It's that's where the bullet had hit, and, right. and and it's kind of messed that area up because fragments, or whatever, and it's caused a hemorrhage in there and whatever. Mm -hmm probably end up cutting some of this way. That's part of the tenderloin and really don't want to hit them there. That's right. why you want to get a good That's the best heart meat. and lung. You're messing the meat up if you don't hit him in the right spot. Okay, but uh, we'll get it on off and see how bad it is. Turn on around this way, right. Jason. It's a See how easy that's coming off that leg now? Yeah. Now we're getting down here where it's a little bit harder to, a bit harder to pull off, so we might want to take our knife and kind of touch it as we pull it. Getting off the legs just the hardest part. But right now we just want to get the hide off. We'll clean up the meat before we process it as we go. Uh, right now, the main thing is just get the hide off, get it clean, but we ain't taking too much meat as we go. We're about getting close to the last of it here, Jason. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna start cutting the, around the neck here. It's just like a side of beef hanging there now, ain't it? Yep. I'm gonna get my salt. Now you've got it caped all the way down, you're gonna cut the neck to take take the head off. Take the head off and, and the cape back yeah, we'll, out of the way. Right. Alright. See how easy that was? Alright.